issue of healthcare delivery, exit of nurses and other professionals from Ghana not affecting performance. This is the Ghana Health Service speaking. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at the finder, a story by Elvis Daku, uh, says that no panic over health workers' exodus. Ghana Health Service has assured that the mass exodus of nurses and other health professionals from Ghana for better income and compensation packages abroad has not negatively impacted the provision of healthcare services in the country. Right. Now, GHS um, recruited 33,625 new staff in three years. Director General um, of the GHS, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaje, who gave the assurance at the minister's news briefing in Accra, said the service had recruited 33,625 new staff over the last three years to boost its capacity to deliver primary health care to Ghanaians. 120,000 GHS workforce. According to him, in the first six months of 2023, GHS increased <laughs> its staffing capacity from 86,000 to 120,000 and taken steps to replace those who had left through further training. Now, over 8,000 nurses and midwives traveled abroad. Um, that's over 8,000 nurses and midwives trained in Ghana have left the country between January 2022 and June 2023. Data from the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives uh, Association shows that about 4,000 nurses and midwives left the country in 2022 to seek greener pastures abroad. Between January and June 2023, another 4,000 Ghanaian nurses and midwives left Ghana in search of greener pastures abroad. Now, for the sake of time, I yes. won't be able to take the full story, but I can get um, the entire story, uh, page two of the finder. Now, let me start with you, Jeffrey. So, this is where we are. But the Director General, Dr. Patrick Kumabwadi, says we shouldn't be worried because we have enough of them to still take up the task back home. Well, it's pathetic that uh, trained nurses are leaving when we have spent so much in training them with our public funds. You know, it's a, a bit pathetic. However, like the saying goes, that um, every misfortune is a blessing. Mm. I would like to look at it rather from a positive angle. And I like to see the opportunity rather to train. Since they are ably engaged out there, it means there's a market out there for my nurses. Okay, so then what I'm going to be doing is to increase the training of more nurses. Mm. And I would like to deliberately do that in the spirit of what our first president, uh, Dr. Kwame Nkuma, did by a plan, a clear plan to train more teachers and nurses and spread them to the region. But let me also give you this point, just so that you can add it to what you are right. saying, that we also, um, the Unemployed <laughs> Nurses Association estimates that backlog of between 25,000 and 30,000 general nurses trained by public nursing training colleges from 2020 and 2021 are yet to be employed. Yeah, so there's a backlog of trained nurses. And we are saying some are leaving. Mm. So if they are leaving, but eight thousand have left. Well, if they, they leave, uh, if they leave, in their huge numbers, like I've told you, I like to see from the positive side. Mm. I want prepare them, arrange with the countries that they are they are leaving to, even and start even grooming them through your. your that is why you have foreign embassies. Mm -hmm. You see, your foreign embassies must not only target bringing in investors. Mm -hmm. Look, countries are coming to Ghana through their multinational enterprises the big companies are coming here and their governments are interested in the operations of those companies mm. form groups with them let the nurses associations right. prepare a plan right. negotiate with the the host countries mm. so that the home country ghana will negotiate with the host countries and properly move these nurses that are even sitting here who have no yeah. jobs out there so that's not a complaint but while at that it is important to improve infrastructure in the nursing training mm. colleges. One tech, second one is to increase intake. The second one is to remove the allowance system. Mm. Nobody mm. should go to a tertiary school and expect <clears throat> that we are going to give them money. Yeah. When you remove the allowance system, you can give a higher intake. Then finally, mm -hmm. we should introduce fee paying for those who can pay their fees. Mm. There are some people who want to go to the nursing training colleges, they are qualified, but their grades are hit out yeah. because there are other better qualified ones mm. than them. Mm. If they can pay fees, do a PPP with an, uh, yeah. a, a, an organization that is ready to do yeah. that. And then allow the fee paying. When mm. all this is done, I'm sure we can find a proper uh, I mean, transfer of these nurses as they are, they are going there as expatriate workers right. to some African countries. Right. They are Nigeria, right. Burkina Faso, right. Right. Nigeria. Right. Let them right. go. Sure. Let's get the foreign, direct, uh, the well, foreign, the foreign exchange. This is where we are, but Dr. Kumabwa just says we shouldn't worry. Even if they are leaving, we yes, still have the, enough of them back home. There is every cause to worry as a nation. Why? 
listen, what is the ratio of nurse to patient? But Ghana, we also have, Ghana, Ghana, we have like 30,000 who are not One like, is to 18, <laughs> as yes. we speak. Yeah. One patient, oh, sorry, one nurse to 18 patients. But let me also ask you, you see, quickly. What, what happens to mm -hmm. the, the UN, uh, uh, the development goals? Yeah. No, no, so, no, so, no, so, no, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on, before you even come here. Before you come here. No, don't give that clarity yet. Don't give that clarity. But quickly, let me also find out from you, Paul. Is it about, is it about the nurses in terms of quality healthcare delivery in Ghana? Is it about nurses availability is it about infrastructure is it a, what really is the problem is it the nurses leaving when we have 30,000 of unemployed <laughs> nurses where are the hospitals for them to go to exactly mm -hmm. there are there are fundamental issues mm -hmm. as a nation right. right as far as our healthcare system is mm -hmm. concerned you have these backlog of nurses waiting to be deployed you know to yeah. these hospitals mm -hmm. now government is saying that it is putting up uh, agenda 111 so, so we, are, we, are looking at, we are looking at in excess of about 100 <coughs> hospitals, hospitals. Or, or regional hospitals yeah. to be built, right? And here you are, for the first time, being an adult, I went to the airport mm -hmm. and I saw what is called traffic. Mm -hmm. For the first time, I've never seen such a thing like that. Do I work around the airport? I saw huge traffic at the, the departure hall, mm -hmm. all right? Traffic and lights. you find some of these health professionals living... Listen, the figures Dr. Patrick is giving us is not even the accurate figures. If you are to dig deep what into are the it, accurate figures? do you, you have, have the accurate figures? In excess no, of thousands. No, hold on. Do you hold have on, the accurate figures? On, hold on. Let's, even, see, let's work with this. Fine, I mean, fair this enough. Is what he mentioned, mentioned 500 and something yeah, it's okay. let's work you know, with health professionals yeah. leaving the country uh -huh. almost annually. Yeah. But if you are paying these nurses allowances every now and then, you are making them sign bonds every now and then. And then at the end of the day, you have so much of these numbers also exiting mm -hmm. the shores of the country. Mm -hmm. Then really, where are we heading towards as a nation? Mm. All right? Take off the allowance. Yeah. Take off the bond. Let the nurse know that, listen, this is our health system. Mm -hmm. This is what we have. Yeah. Uh, in the absence of an allowance, you can still gain unemployment. Mm. Make sure you push some of these monies into the infrastructure you are building. Already we are struggling with, with money yeah. to fund some of these Agenda 111. And so, and so yeah. I, I am appealing to government, mm. reconsider the issue of allowances to nurses. Mm. All right? If the bond is something you can still hold on to, at the end of the day, let us look at those going to the rural right. areas, right. how best we can support them, how best we can assist mm. them when they go there. Because mind you, some of them don't have light when they go to the rural areas. Yeah. They would struggle with accommodation. Mm -hmm. So if you can give them accommodation, you can give them these incentives yeah. when they go to the rural areas. I don't think that we will have to go through the issue of giving them allowances, you know, just for right. them to right. be educated. Okay.